Good day everybody, in this Adobe Illustrator tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create a vector a vector clock um, a basic one similar to the ones you see right here and I'm going to be using a few different techniques like the ro uh, cop rotation tool um, different uh, stroke effects uh, like the double stroke and so on anyways like I said before this is a basic clock you could expand on it in any way you see fit however for the duration of this tutorial it's going to be a simple one now the first thing to do is of course use the ellipsy tool uh, it's on the left hand side right here it's not showing just hold down the button and drop down menu will appear um, go back down here make sure it's white and black and create your circle a nice perfect circle, you hold shift all for that. Um, next thing to do, of course, is create the lines, which are right here, which are in the position of the numbers. So go on your left hand side, click on the line segment tool, and create strokes. Now, it doesn't matter what size you have it, I uh, have at one point. and usually it's good enough, some people like it thicker anyways, let's copy that and move it down to the bottom right here that looks about the same Yeah. alright, now we're going to rotate it um, a clock is, well, circle 360 degrees and if we divide by 12 that becomes 30, uh, 30 degrees so we're going to right click, go to transform and rotate and make sure the angle is at 30 degrees and click copy, not OK. Alright, let's click copy and let's do that again. To repeat a transformation, the last transformation I did, all you have to do is click on Control D and we we'll do that several more times. Perfect. Now, once we did that, we select all the line segments. Uh, hold down Shift while we're doing that. And let's resize it, make it a bit smaller. Um, there you go. Oh. If for whatever reason it, they're not showing up, that means uh, you have to change the arrangement. So go to range, send to back. I need a big object here. Alright, cool. Next thing to do is to create the center, center spot right here. So we're going to take the ellipse tool again. Uh, make sure it's black and white, so actually don't have any stroke. And go to view and outline. This helps us make sure it's in the center a lot easier. So when you hover over the X, you see a uh, center thing pop up. So let's hold shift and alt and create your circle. There you go. Go back to view, preview. Um, send this to the back again. Now we're going to create the line segments for the arrows. So let's go like that. That's not bad and create like this. If it's not showing again, this like I said, this do send it back. Now we're gonna add arrows. So all you have to do is go to here. Go to here. If you have no arrows popping up, just go there open brush library and go to arrows and arrow standard and you'll have a bunch of pop up so let's click no. I like this one, that's cool and I think it's too thick so let's make it 0 0.25 points for the stroke and the last thing we're going to do is add a double stroke um, all you have to do for that is open up the appearance window um, window appearance and let's make the first stroke um, bigger so just make it in there it's cool now we'll click on this button on the bottom left corner of this panel and click add new stroke and this time we're going to make it the outside and we're going to change the color to whatever it could be red, yellow uh, let's make it blue this time and we're going to make it a bit thicker so there you have it hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you next time